Hey everybody, it's the Redneck Hoosier back again. Today, I'm going to be uh, doing a um, review. And we're going to do them on the new uh, Doritos Jack Test Flavors. I only have two. Um, I guess there's a flavor 2653 in a blue bag. I can't find it anywhere. Um, as soon as I do find it, It'll be an addition to this video, so it'll be like a part two, so we'll call this part one. Um, I tried them earlier, and uh, they're not bad. We'll start with this one. Test flavor 855 in a red bag. Ingredients, uh, corn, vegetable oil, sunflower corn oil, canola oil. Paprika, spices, um, salt, sour cream, cayenne pepper sauce, aged red cayenne peppers, vinegar, dried garlic, sugar, skim milk, onion powder, garlic powder, buttermilk, malic acid, lactose, so if you're lactose intolerant, don't try them. Um, blue cheese, hope it darn, there's blue cheese in there. Hmm. They look you know, find a good one here. There's a good one. They look like a standard Doritos Jack, nice and thick, got a lot of stuff on them. They smell, right off the bat, you can smell the paprika and the cayenne. That's the two main things I'm getting is paprika and cayenne. Hence why they're so red. The first initial thing you taste is a big blast of paprika. Then the paprika smooths out. And you get just a just a note of onion with a little side note of garlic, and then all of a sudden the, the cayenne just washes right over. And right at the height of the cayenne, you get just a just a little um Yeah, get just a little bit of buttermilk. And then as that all fades out, and uh, for some people, I mean, these might be kind of spicy. So as the spice subsides, for me, it's just like a little nine volt battery kind of thing. But as that eases out, right across the palate, blue cheese. It's not a strong suggestion of blue cheese, but it's definitely there. The spice ain't bad. I mean, it's cayenne pepper. Um, I'd say these are... I wouldn't say like a buffalo wing, but I'd say more like a cayenne or a, a Cajun... Cajun kind of thing. Um, they have their buffalo wing blue cheese. Um... This I wouldn't call buffalo wing, I'd call it more Cajun. It's got a Cajun flavor to it. Um, yeah. It's definitely, definitely Cajun y. <coughs> now we try Doritos Jack Test Flavor 404 in the orange bag. Ingredients, you know, the vegetable oil and the corn. These have sugar, brown sugar. Um, molasses, corn syrup, onion powder, citric acid, garlic powder, cornstarch, lime juice, orange juice. Well, right away, you you get a you get a deep corn smell with just a twins of the line. 
And these two, traditional Doritos jacked. I got a broken one. There we go. They got a lot of stuff on them too. So let's give them a shot. Mm. Without doubt, right off the bat, lime. Smooths off just a little for the orange, and it just kicks right into the onion and the garlic. That's really good. Um, I really like these. The lime stays with it for the whole ride. So you're getting lime, little orange, and then lime on top of the garlic and the onion, and that's just an unexpected flavor. You get some people kind of heat to them. My mouth's just warm. I mean, I'm not getting any kind of heat. It's just, um, it's like eating something with too much pepper. Mm. Um, I would say, mm, these. These are going for some um, kind of, um, it's almost like a Mediterranean kind of feel. Um, my, <clears throat> maybe like something you might find um, down southern Louisiana. Um, I read online somewhere that somebody thought they tasted like ceviche. Um, I'm not really getting ceviche. I am getting a lot of lime, but I'm not getting like the shrimp or the seafood flavor out of them. So I'm gonna say this is some kind of spicy sweet citrus. Um, be my guess. And um, as soon as I get test flavor 2653 in the blue bag, I will do a second video label it part two and um, <laughs> if you're really into review videos uh, go check out my buddy Ted Barris aka the fire breathing idiot he does review videos on some of the most insane hot sauces I have ever seen uh, he's a good guy if you haven't subscribed to him yet check him out Make sure you give him a subscribe. And as always, this is the Redneck Hoosier signing off.